At this time last week, <clears throat> the nation did not know whom President Trump <clears throat> would be nominating to the Supreme Court. But amazingly, we did know what kinds of false attacks the far left would deploy against whoever it was. Democrats and special interests have been telling the country for 45 years, 45 years, that every Supreme Court vacancy under a Republican president was going to bring about the apocalypse. John Paul Stevens, they said, was anti-woman. David Souter, <clears throat> they said, wanted to hurt vulnerable people. John Roberts was out to get health insurance. And wouldn't you know, the president had barely finished saying Judge Amy Coney Barrett's name before the same old attacks began rolling in. Our 77-year-old male former vice president and our 69-year-old male Senate Democratic leader have tried to inform American women that this 48-year-old working mom wants to roll back her own rights as a woman, roll back her own rights as a woman. Democrats have tried to fearmonger around a four-year-old academic paper that reinforced one unfair penalty in Obamacare, which Congress, by the way, has already eliminated three years ago. As an aside, Madam President, if the American people are interested in which senators are serious about protecting Americans with pre-existing conditions, they can simply look up the vote senators took last night, just last night. Every single Democrat voted against legislation from Senator Tillis that would have cemented protections for these vulnerable Americans. Democrats voted to block protections for pre-existing conditions, just like they voted to block hundreds of billions of dollars for coronavirus relief, and just like they voted to block police reform, and a thousand other things they tell Americans they support but vote against to block bipartisan progress.